Don't mind me, a bit is hungry and hot. What's up, guys? This looks like people scissoring each other, like... You're probably questioning yourself. Eric, how do you burp like a crazy monster? The truth is, I don't know. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, I will be recreating the makeup look that Mr. That Sister James Charles just posted just now, like 36 minutes ago, I believe. It's half devil, half angel. If you want to see how to get that makeup look, then keep on watching. First, obviously, if you're not priming, then you should definitely prime your face. I'm going to use my Holy Grail sample from Sephora of the Tatcha, Tatcha, not Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. This is expensive as hell, that's why I got a sample of it. So I'm going to take this, yeah, I know, my little brush here is dirty but it's a little flat top angled brush I'm gonna just take that on here cuz who wants to actually go in with their giant finger and just like Tuh! and plus this goes a long way little goes a long way remember that go in with this and yes I have a beard on you can tell by my mustache I don't know how this came about but Welcome Arnold. Hey Arnold. See? Dots, dots, dots all over your face. And now that we have that, just wipe it all over your face. Because a little goes a long way. And and we go in with my Holy Grail Elf Cosmetics. Elf. Every time I do a YouTube video, it just goes like this. And it's upside down. Elf. It's a cosmetics concealer in the shade light, light medium, I think. I don't know. I threw the box away as soon as I got it. I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited to play with it. But I threw the box away, hoping I would not do a YouTube video on it. But I am right now, so professional. Which I don't think this is very full coverage, but we'll work with it. I mean, it's the only thing I got. So now I just take it on this little brush here because it's kind of like shaped like a like a beauty blender so it's easy for me to actually get into the little eye crevices and whatnot put some on your nose too to give the illusion that you don't have a pimple on your nose which I do trying to create the illusion that I don't put some on your mustache so even though people are still gonna see it we still don't want to give the illusion away that we still that we don't have one yeah, I am not a makeup guru, makeup artist, or whatever, because I don't have foundation. Yeah, I know it's stupid. And I don't have setting powder. Professional. Oh, I have a, another pimple right here. You, you can definitely see it. It's like a little dot. It's like saying, hi, my name is Frio, because I have a bag of food over here. That's just the name I just came up with immediately. Y'all remember that song, another one? And another one, and another one bites the dust, and another one, and another one, one, and another one. My eyebrows might look uneven on camera, but there's a mirror here that says otherwise, so but buzz off and I don't care. Just do my eyebrows real quick off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're done with the brow. It still might look uneven on camera, but yet again, buzz off. I did the concealer under my brows, then I dragged the concealer on my lid so that it will act as an eye primer for the eyeshadow. Because we're going to be doing a cut crease, guys. It is so difficult and so tiring. Anyways, we're going to set our concealer in place with this shade from e.l.f. again. No, this is not sponsored by e.l.f., but I wish it was. Sometimes you only need to do it once. You need to grab the pigment and knock it off once. If you just knock it off like 
He's like, stop. He's like, you're ruining all the pigment. I'm like, just stop. There's not that much fallout on this palette, which I love, because who wants to deal with the fallout? Not me. Uh, the fallout from the eyeshadow might still be on my face still. And I'm just wiping away my concealer because I don't have setting powder. So I'm just fucked. Um, now that we have the um, eye primer done, we're going to go back in with this little five quad eyeshadow palette. And we're going back in with this shade right here, this long shade. And it's kind of like a shimmer. I'm just going to highlight the, highlight the brows. I'm getting a lot of fallout on my pants. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to get on my pants. But not fallout from shadows. So it looks like he used a red shadow. And I'm going to be taking this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Which cost me $19. $18 plus tax. So great. Some shadows are best pigmented without having to knock it off, knock off the brush. Cause when you knock off the brush, some shadows lose their pigment. So don't knock off your brush. And it looks a hot mess as you can tell with this horrible lighting, but I don't care. Remember when you bring your cut crease all the way out here Remember to use light strokes because you see it looks ugly over here. And I'm gonna go back in with this shade from the Elf Cosmetics palette, this long one right here. And we're just gonna diffuse that a little bit because it's literally getting harsh. Like, so next we're gonna go back. Yes, this is not sponsored by Elf, but we're gonna be using this palette again. I know, Elf. Mm. Elf, please sponsor me, even though I'm not famous enough. There's only one red shadow. All the rest are just pinks, oranges, purples, blues, greens, teals, yellows. There's one ugly booger green in here. Look at that. Like, ew. So I'm going to take this brush, which is, I forgot what brand this is from, but this is another flat top concealer brush, and we're just going to cut the crease. Using this e.l.f. concealer, I'm probably going to get the e.l.f. setting powder and the e.l.f. foundation, so. I think you know, I think you guys know how to do a cut crease by now, so we're just going to skip this part. So now that we're done with our concealer, yes, I know, it looks a mess, but... Going back in again with the red shadow, and I'm gonna actually go into detail with this. And judging by the picture, it looks like he does a better cut crease than I do, and he did an eyeliner, black eyeliner, and he put like a red, shiny type of shadow. I think it is a shadow. I don't know. <coughs> But we're going to put that also on our lid. First, we're going to do, what we're going to do is, going to put this shadow again on our eyelid to set it in place. Remember, this shadow is shiny. This shadow right here is shiny. It looks matte on camera, but in person, it is shiny as the chickens. Shiny as the chickens. And we're going to plot that same red shade from the NYX palette. And we're going to plop it all over our lid. I think I need to deepen up the crease a little bit. Because it just doesn't look right. Like, you know, see this? Okay, we're going to... Now that we're done with the eyeshadow part, we're going to apply some Ulta, Ulta Beauty, this little eyeliner pencil, obviously sharpened, 
and we're just gonna go in on the eyeliner. Oh, it's a horrible eyeliner. Look at that. No. Taking this e.l.f. concealer once again and cutting it a little bit. Taking a little eyeshadow brush and blending that concealer out. You do not want a eyeliner that is thick. We want an ass that's thick. Uh. Hopefully this eye would, would turn out better. So now we're getting to the point of doing our little brow thing. This little tail brow thing he did. And I'm going to take this brush again. I'm taking this Halloween paint palette that you can get in Target or whatever. And you can also use this as your tail. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, wow. Look at that. Very pigmented. Very pigmented. Didn't hey didn't need to have to use anything and draw and curve that and curve that that looks thin and we're gonna drag it onto our eyebrow need more pigment from. And we're going to drag it up. But it is turning out good. Like, oh my god, I'm actually shocked. I'm going to do the bottom eyeshadow. And I'm going to take the uh, this brush again in the red shadow and knock it off the pigment and drag along the red shadow on there and we're gonna take that dark shade from the elf cosmetics palette I don't know what palette this is I still don't know there's literally no indication or of what palette this is and we're gonna pop that with the red and and we're gonna take this this little gold shade and pop it in our inner corner as a highlight maybe something else let me take this little bronzer palette which includes two bronzers and two highlights and I'm gonna take one of these the pigments there and So the devil side is finished. I think me and him are twins now. Except for the eyeliner. I'm gonna take this contour and blush duo from Elta and gonna contour my nose and my cheekbones. Duh. And my jawline. Can't forget the jawline. Ew. That's the harshest contour I've ever seen in my life. And I'm gonna just diffuse it. I'm gonna just diffuse the shadow with the same shadow we've been using for our highlight under the brow. Now I'm gonna take the blush now. The blush, which is called Rose Blush, and this is called Cool Bronzer. And I'm gonna blush, put blush on my face. We don't need to blush over our man, duh. We have to edit. We have to hurry up because this might cut off at any second right now. So if it cuts off, see you guys later. Subscribe, like, and comment below. Part 2 will be coming sooner or later. Follow my social media, by the way. Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. So every, everything will be in the description box down below. So just in case if the, if the, just in case if the camera cuts off.